Hi everybody, it's Sally from Sally Stampers. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm bringing you my Big Dome treat box. Um, I think, I don't know if it was last year or maybe even longer than that. It, you know, you kind of lose track of time and trust me, it's going so fast at the moment. Um, but yeah, I made a dome box that was slightly smaller and it was one that I'd cased off um, a foreign demonstrator. Um, and it was such a lovely, simple um, creation that I... I recreated it um, and when I was it actually came up on a timeline uh, I think it was on Facebook or something and I thought oh that's really good I loved that project but I thought I wonder if I could make it bigger and so I did here it is so this is the big dome this one is a 3x3 three three base um, I'm using the beautiful Garden Lane DSP and one of those fabulous Magnolia Lane cork embellishments I just think it just adds just that what it needs and again using the Magnolia Lane ribbon combo as well. Um, so let's go ahead and make it. So you're going to need a sheet of cardstock and a sheet of DSP. So your cardstock is 10.5 by 3 and 3 quarters. That's 26.5 by 8.5 and, and your DSP will be 10.5 by 3 which is 26.5 by 7.5. So I'm going to start with my cardstock first and what you need to do is score on the long side at three and three quarters rotate it completely and score the other end other end at three and three quarters and then on the short side we're simply going to score down both sides at three eighths of an inch In fact, I'm going to rotate it and do it that way, just then I know it's right. Three eighths of an inch. Okay, so you've got that. And then your DSP, you're going to do exactly the same. Three and three quarters, which is nine and a half centimetres on either end. And the three eighths of an inch is one centimetre. And that's that bit done. Okay. So now what we need to do is get your ruler again and what we're going to do is we're going to mark the centre either side of the um, score line. So I'm putting my ruler to this score line and measuring to that one which is three inches. Okay, um, seven and a half centimetres, not sure. Um, sorry, ignore me, it's eight centimetres for for the other measurements. So I'm going to mark my uh, the centre of the top at one and a half inches which is four centimetres and then I'm going to mark one and a half centimetres down. I'm going to score one and a half centimetres down and then from that corner up to that top score line and the same on this side. Okay so you've got that that shape. Rotate and do exactly the same again. So center one and a half, score down one and a half, which is four centimeters, and then we're going from the bottom of the score line out and up to those score lines on either side. And then we're doing exactly the same with the DSP. So we're going to mark, score down one and a half and then score to the top corner of the paper and then the same again on this side one and a half one and a half down and then out to the corners okay then we're going to fold and burnish so my DSP I'm just going to fold those straight score lines so this is made up exactly the same as the other one just slightly bigger score these nice long ones okay so on your cardstock now we need to cut away this centre three eighths or one centimetre piece. So I'm just going to cut in there, fold, excuse me, fold over and tuck that one in, 
and then just simply cut up those sides and then I'm just going to cut little wedges out of there and out of the top and then we're going to do the same again on this side so we're going to fold that in cut that away and cut the wedges okay so that is that bit done so now we need to add my lovely tear and tape down these little tabs we've created here and we're going to put it on all four and then this is fairly easy this part pop these in at least all my animals are quiet today <laughs> that's all wait well it's always a worrying sign it's like children isn't it when children are quiet then you start to worry <laughs> okay so that's that part done what I want to do now is just encourage these triangles to go where they need to be so what we're needing to do is that center line needs to fold in and these triangular bits the angled bits need to fold out okay and once you've got it going just bring them together and give them a little squeeze okay so we're going to do the same on this side and if you notice when I do it I simply pop my finger on the top and these two either side just to guide just to guide that through just give those a little crease didn't really score them very hard enough and then you just pinch them together okay so that's those bits done now we need your take your pick or you need a um, needle sewing needle I've got my dye brush mat here or if you've got some thicker foam or something that you can pierce in to use that but I've also got a bit of extra card here just to act as a reinforcement and what I want to do is with my piercing end you've got your V here you want to be piercing just inside let me zoom in a little bit you want to be piercing just here inside the circle so inside the triangle sorry so I'm going to show you don't worry if you bend the card because it actually isn't um, causing any mess if you like to the card you can't really see it anyway but that's really where you want to be going let me zoom back out I always go the wrong way there we go and then the same again with this one And then I'm going to do exactly the same with my DSP. You do need to be a little gentler with your DSP because obviously it's paper. There is a possibility of it ripping. So just be a little gentler with it. Okay, that's that done. Right, so now we need to add some snail to the bottom of our DSP here. And that's just going to sit across the bottom here. Just ensure that you line up score lines. Okay, so you want to make sure it's level with one of those score lines and that your sides are level with these score lines too. And then we just work our way round adhering these two our DSP. So there's that one. And then the same on this side. Come on, if you get, thank you. So this one is the same, tucks in 
and goes on to the box and as you can see you just work your way round now now thank you just work your way round with your DSP and your cardstock just lining those up and then the last one there we go and so you can now see that your dome box is already taking shape and what you need to do is push your four corners in okay and that's how oops not too heavy handed and that's how you create that dome top and then I've got um, a needle here one of my I think it's from maybe cross stitch or something um, and some of that beautiful twine and obviously this is quite a thin the needle it's not my usual darning needle that I used to use for baker's twine because that's that was just too big and then what I'm going to do is go in through the one corner leaving a bit of an end and then thread it through there and you just keep going in and out until you've done all of it that one go in there nearly there last ones last one there we go okay and then obviously you ha help your box because you don't want to be pulling too much and relying on this twine otherwise you could rip your DSP and that makes you want to cry when you've worked so hard <laughs> And then you just then need to obviously tie, I the way I did it, I tied my bow. If you've got somebody who can hold it, that's always handy. And then I then threaded my cork, sorry, embellishment through. And then I tied another knot, another little knot just to keep that in place so hold that down pull that tight then pull this one tight oops and then once you've got everything tied up you can just do your bow and have some crazy big rabbit ears And then you just need to cut some of the tails off. And there you have it. Purpose as soft sea foam big dome treat box. Hope you like them. Hope you can fill them with lots of treats. They'd be lots of fun. Thank you for joining me. Have a great day. Bye.